Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. This is episode number 134, I think. I think it's 134th episode. Uh, and today what we will be doing is, well, playing a little bit more of our weekend league. Now, this is what my newest team looks like, as you guys know. Jaden Sancho, uh, Ede Militao, Hakimi, the future stars that are in my squad. Uh, and on Friday night, we got Team of the Week upgrade packs. So I was like, hey, I have a few uh, 83s in the club. I will go ahead and do one of these just to see how good they are. And if they're any good, then I get a good player, like a good walkout or something. Maybe I'll do some more. So, uh, yeah, that's that's basically what I did. Uh, as you can see, I've got, even on the bench, like, there's so many 83s. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the club, so uh, I'll just do one untradeable. And worst case scenario, we've just got, like, an inform in our club uh, that we can store for something else along the way. I don't know. Uh, so, the Team of the Week pack opens itself up. Well, we opened it with a controller. <sighs> But you don't see the walkout. So it's not going to be good, is it? Now, I could have clickbaited this. French striker in form. Could have been like Mbappe clickbait stuff. But uh, no, we're not going to do that. Um, we get Az Azurke. Azurke. I don't know. 78 rated French in form striker. And that was the last team of the week pack I have done and will do. Because, yeah, I mean, that's just not great, is it? Uh, it's just not how we really wanted to start today's episode. The way we want to start today's episode is by having you guys smash a thumbs up on it. If you could do that for me, that would be brilliant. Thank you so much in advance. Let's try and hit 2,000 likes today. I think we can do it. I think you've got it in you to hit that target. So go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up button. So... With the squad, with the team that we're rocking, I like it. I think it does look absolutely awesome. Uh, but we, we, we're like 2-1 and one in the weekend league right now. So it wasn't the greatest of starts. We've had some tough games, not going to lie. Um, and then Jaden Sancho is someone that I still can't quite figure out. And, and I think I'll probably continue to say that for the next few episodes. Uh, and it, it comes to a point where if you keep saying that and you still don't know if you like him or not, Probably don't like him. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. But his goal to game ratio is kind of like keeping him in there for me at the moment. Because, well, I mean, we're going into the weekend league now. And you'll start to see. Uh, we'll play a whole more bunch of games to try and get up that up the ranking a little bit. We're only 2-1 and one right now. Uh, so if we can hit up to like, I don't know, let's say Silver 2 by the end of today's episode. Just 6 wins. That'll be good. Because the next couple of episodes are also going to be weekend league highlights. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times already. I'm pretty sure, but uh, as of today, Monday for you, uh, I will be away until the end of Wednesday, maybe even Thursday for my best mate's wedding. So uh, I want to get content covered, but what that's going to mean is that I just need to like have slightly more extended highlights of my weekend league journey. Uh, uh, so that's what you'll see over the next couple of days. It's kind of either that or no uploads, really. So, uh, And I, I kind of don't want to break that daily streak of the road to glory that we've got going on right now. So I'm 2-0 up in this match, but my opponent gets a penalty that I gift him. Um, and he scores from it. So Griezmann makes it 2-1. And so 10 minutes on the clock, and it's 2-1. Three goals in the first 10 minutes. Oh my god, is this FIFA or is this FIFA? Uh, but hey, I, I'm, you know, having a, a few little shots on goal, trying my very best to get through to score and stuff. Get through with Jaden right there, it doesn't quite work out, but hey, it pushes straight out to Neymar and we get the luckiest little uh, easy goal that you could ever possibly want. Tellez and Sancho working nicely out on that left-hand side, but I mean, it's sort of moments like that where the La Croquette is great and stuff. The end product isn't quite there because it hits the post. But the, the original initial dribbling was just a little bit like meh. And then right there, again, end product not quite there for us. And that was green timed. I would have expected that one to go in. So there's something. There's just I, I just come away each game thinking, if that was Mbappe, I think I probably would have scored a couple more goals where Sancho hits the post or something like that. So I don't know. I, I really want to like him because it's a different player. Uh, I mean, he, he then goes and scores that to make it 4-1. So he scores a red timed no scope where he wasn't looking or any. It's just I can't I can't at the moment. I don't even know where to begin. This game is driving me crazy, uh, and not in a good way. It's just kind of yeah. I'm it's it, it's stressing me out. 
everyone in champs has got like flashbacks or icons or crazy cards to be fair around that around those special items in this squad this is a very bang average team and we should easily beat this as long as he's not an absolute god with rooney and ibra um so I wasn't super surprised to go 1-0 up after two minutes. You know, like our first attack, get a goal. Nice RB cross in there to Abamyang. And because I didn't time that one, I think is the reason why that one didn't go in. Uh, but lovely pace. Good ball out from Alba. Uh, straight to Jaden Sancho. Good pace. Uh, cuts inside with the La Croqueta and hits that one green. And that's where I think, damn. Great, great effort there. You know, lovely goal. You've worked it with the pace, the dribbling, the, the skill moves that you've got to get in that position. And then you've timed it green and scored the goal. Maybe the reason why I'm a little bit meh about him is because I've completely forgotten how to hit green time shots. Pretty much all of my shots are either white or yellow. I can't figure it out. Uh, I, I've lost it somehow. I, I just don't know what's, what, where, where, why, why they're not happening. Uh, you know, I've got to relearn that apparently. Um, but take a look at this. My opponent gets one back and then hits a second man free kick with Carlos Tevez. And I'd already moved my goalkeeper the other way to block the, the, the power shot that doesn't go over the wall. But then I forgot to jump my wall and he just like bangs it in with, with Tevez. And, uh, and then I get a bicycle kick opportunity. I don't think I've scored a front post bicycle kick from a corner. Since the very first week of FIFA, I thought that got patched. Is that back in the game? I don't know. But hey, we scored one anyway. Um, and then like Kante plays it out to Da Costa. It drops to Jaden Sancho. And uh, with the with the if you hit that one green, which luckily we did, uh, that one's always going to fly in the back of the net, isn't it? What a touch from Ibra playing it down to Neymar. Neymar plays it back to Da Costa into Sancho again. And like, yeah, I mean... I'm going to hit them while they're still in the game. They're going to be gone next week, aren't they? So uh, I'm never going to be able to do them again. Uh, so whilst, whilst I can, I, I will uh, hit the, the no-scope finesses that actually go in. So then we go into this game, and I'm like, yes, nice, easy win. Uh, he's got, like, Juan Jesus, Keita Balde, the Alfred, like, players that are just not really... people. Good good players don't really have this right now because they've played the game enough to get a few special items. But I'm not going to lie, this was one of the toughest games I have ever had on FIFA 19. Uh, I couldn't handle how fast... Firstly, constant pressure. He was definitely on me like crazy every time I had the ball. Secondly, he was incredible at passing. Like, one-touch passes, getting into space, making opportunities for himself. I went 2-0 down in 25 minutes, and that's just not good. And I was just getting done. I was having a fair share of shots, but, like, I couldn't score against him because the shots I were taking were kind of rushed because I was getting closed down so quickly. So it was good that we finally got through, probably kickoff style in the 48th minute to score... A powerful driven shot there with Sancho. Uh, and then Tevez plays it to Jaden into Ibra. But I think he's offside. Yeah, so that one's not going to count. It was a good move, but he just wasn't actually onside. Ibra wins every head unknown to man. Neymar plays it through to Tevez. Tevez spots an open Sancho at the back post. Three-star week for... I don't care. Uh, I, I'm just going to tap that one into the back of the net. 82nd minute it took me to get the equaliser in this game. And then I hit the bar from a bicycle kick in the 90th minute, uh, which could have won me the game. But instead, I'm going to have to go into extra time. So a corner in extra time. I'm dragging Ibra to that front post. And he he's genuinely a cheat code. He might be up there with Cristiano Ronaldo and like team of the year Van Dyke and stuff in terms of players that are, just have this insane aerial ability. He really might be. Um, I give away a penalty <clears throat> in the second half of extra time. And I save it. Clear the ball. Hold out for the rest of the game, uh, and we actually get a three-two win in that one. So I feel I feel like we deserved it, but that was one of the toughest games I've had all FIFA. That guy was incredibly, incredibly high pressure uh, and really good at passing. So GG's to you, brother. Especially with that team, uh, I don't know how you can you can play at that level. Like we, we were having a really good match, and you genuinely could have beat me. Uh, maybe it might have just been team advantage at the end, and having that Ebra to bring on that was the difference. So next game, uh, we go on into it, and I score after 56 seconds uh with alba that wasn't even timed or anything it just went in uh, fair enough and then i couldn't switch to the right player and it turns out that kante was marking van dyke so van dyke scores a header against me from the corner well whipped in ball from a red 89 ericsson uh, it's one all at half time i'm having less possession and stuff 
against my opponent, but genuinely I'm having a lot of opportunities that I should be scoring. Neymar then turns the defenders, plays it into Zlatan. I get very lucky with that one. I think I was probably even trying to play it out wide to Kante, but it just deflects and goes straight to Ibrahimovic. And then my opponent gets incredibly lucky there, where my keeper just parries it into his path. There's not much you can do about that. I just hope that he never does it, but hey, they do it all the time. It just is the way the game's coded, I guess, right? To give, to give an opportunity there, but hey... Look at that. I fluffed the shot with uh, Ede Militao, I think it was. And Van Dijk is there at the back post to just tap home. Um, so both my centre-backs working quite well together there. Uh, and then, hey, would you know, in the 92nd minute, Sterling is there to tap home as my goalkeeper parries it to him yet again uh, to, to make this match even and level and push me into extra time. Which is not what I wanted at all, obviously. Uh, and then, oh my God... Look at this. Oh, this game sent me over the edge. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that goal is just ridiculous. I was annoyed when I scored that goal. I was like, this game is trash. What, what's going on? I was just in that salty, toxic mood of playing FIFA, which is how the game gets me every now and again. Um, and then he kickoffs me, obviously, plays it down the other end and just taps it in with Ericsson. And then I'm pretty sure I kind of kick off goal him uh, by getting an opportunity and then sticking it in with the cheat code that is Latan at the near post. So I'm 5-4 up here. I just got to hold this game out, right? Uh, until the 121st or 122nd minute where I don't make a standing tackle instead I go through the player apparently I don't know why but it doesn't make the challenge so um, I give a penalty away he scores a penalty to take it to penalties uh, and well I missed my first one he saves my first one uh, and then he scores his first one so advantage one to my opponent I score my second all right as long as I save this we're gonna level it out Still advantage to my opponent right now. Zlatan steps up, scores. Brilliant. I need to save this one, though. Uh, and I don't. So it's still advantage one to my opponent. Kante steps up. Lovely penalty. Not. Saved by the goalkeeper. But fortunately, I save here. So it's still advantage one to my opponent. I don't let the game slip away that easily. Now, I score with Neymar. Pogba steps up uh, with the longest run-up of all time. And I save it. So actually, we're, ve we're literally drawing right now. And then I score a lucky one with Sancho. I thought the goalkeeper was going to get that, but he scores. So again, we're still level right now. Tellez steps up, and that's probably the best penalty I've taken on FIFA 19. Genuinely in the corner to the point where he couldn't get it. Opponent scores. We're still level. I get my penalty saved. And if he scores this next one, he's won the game, which he does. So he scored a 92nd minute equaliser, a 122nd minute equaliser, and then one on penalties. And I, I'm not going to lie, I, I had to stop for a, quite a long time before I went into the next match. That one, I'm very surprised we didn't say goodbye to a controller. I was just so, so moody after that game. I didn't want to play for I wanted to stop the weekend league. Um, so... I had to get myself back in the menus and stuff. And like I listed like the 83 rated players because I didn't want to force myself to do another team of the week pack. And I knew something needed to change. So I've uh, made another one of these. Well, I've made my defensive formation. Basically the, the instructions and tactics that Footwiz Marco, uh, a pro FIFA player, told me to, to do when I was at the Footwiz office last week. So I've gone back to that um, as like, if I want to play a slightly different style, I'll go to my defensive one. If I want to play how I normally play, which is like pressure and heavy touch, everyone stay forward and stuff, then that's what I'll do uh, as, as and when, you know... I'll go on to the attacking one. Uh, so, oh, I've got a feeling that this opponent... This opponent quits on me, so I don't know why I've left this in here. Hopefully, we can just go straight into the next game, if I've edited it right. Yeah, basically, that guy paused and quit without even kicking off. So, I don't know why. He wasted his own weekend league game, but he didn't waste one of mine, I guess. Um, and then we get into this match here. This guy obviously loves an SBC uh, and, a, and a special item from the Prem. He's got special Joe Gomez, special Van Dyke, But he's also got two West Ham strikers. So I, and a West Ham badge as well as Felipe Anderson. I figure, I, I guess he's probably a West Ham fan. Now, that was one of the deftest little shoulder touches from Lucas, I think, to pass that across. So, fair play to my opponent. That was actually a nice goal. Uh, my goal was not nice. It was just a uh, first, first time finesse shot kickoff goal but hey i needed to get back into the game i was dominating this one literally fully dominating it uh and i should have been not one all at this point but i bring ibra on and ibra scores within three minutes because he is genuinely god tier i literally play him on five chemistry for off the bench 
and he is so freaking good. It's like he's just the best player on this game right now for me. Um, Neymar manages to score one. Again, I don't time it very well, but uh, seven minutes into the second half, we've turned this game around and got two goals to really put myself into the lead. So we came out, we came out firing on all cylinders in the second half. He then scores that with Zlatan, which I was very surprised went in. But uh, it was a nice goal. I like the way that the style of the goal, that it goes past the goalkeeper. It's almost like a more realistic goal. Um, uh, and then I score a very unrealistic one to just seal the deal in the in the 90th minute. Uh, we get a win, <clears throat> but we made it so hard for ourselves. I had 61% possession against that guy and, and was playing really well. Had lots of shots, a lot on target. I just wasn't really hitting him as well as I should have been. So uh, at least we've we've come away after that devastating all the way to the 120th minute, all the way to penalties and losing that horrible match. At least we played one more, got a win. And that means I can end the episode feeling not quite as toxic as I was at the end of that game. Ibra's got like uh, 85 contributions in like 60 games or something. And he plays the second half. That's how good he is. Uh, Tevez is fairly similar. I don't think he's got a positive goal to gain. But he is still great when he comes off the bench as well. Uh, Jaden Sancho is now sat at like 12 games, 12 goals, 2 assists. So it's brilliant. But I still don't know what to say about him. I still don't know whether I love him or hate him or want to get rid of him or keep him. I'm actually unsure. So guys, all you can do now is smash a thumbs up on the video if you haven't done so already. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Come follow me on Twitter. Come follow me on Instagram. All of the social medias uh, for little snippets of extra stuff from the road to glory and all of that. Uh, and all those links can be found down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. And I will catch you next time. Peace.